Hello there and welcome back to another edition of the Hot Lab Classic Remastered. This time we're taking a look at the 1992 Roof BR2. It is a roof in the GT2 Plus mod, so say the line with me. This is a car added with this mod based on unused content. Can you believe this one was unused? Neither can I. Uh, this is based on the roof tuned 911 Turbo, apparently. So uh, there you go, two wheel drive only. Uh, sold in Japan as well, only, apparently. This was an exclusively Japanese roof. I'm sure the Western world cried. Um, yeah, like I said, based on a 911 Turbo, uh, and the 911 Turbo with this era was not four-wheel drive, so eh, a little bit scary, although to be fair, the rear-engine rear-wheel drive roofs haven't been too bad, uh, so uh, I'm hopeful I can escape with my life on this one, although this one is a proper widow maker, so uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah, rear engine rear wheel drive, 567 horsepower, 1,205 kilos. A lot of torque, big turbos, as you'd expect. Um, yeah, we'll see how it gets along. This car is going to get six laps of the Motorsports Land track in order to set the best time it possibly can. Current leader is the Mitsubishi FTO LM Edition. Set so at time of 27.131, the roof BR2. Completely did not have to look at the leaderboard to figure out which one this one was. Uh, is uh, unlikely to beat that. In terms of the uh, roofs, I think the slowest we've had is the RCT, that's set a time of 29.835. Nope, tell why it was the CR4, but well, we don't talk about that one. So um, 29.8 is sort of what this is aiming for, because like I say, the, uh, in case you're wondering, the, the roof CR4 was a non-turbo Carrera, I think, tuned by roof, and uh, that car sucked. Um, that car sucked really bad. Um, got a little bit of a snap of overstir there. Um, yeah. I think... I don't think we've got many two-wheel drive roofs to go anymore. I think it's mostly... Uh, oh, there's the yellow bird. I don't know. I think this is pretty balanced. Uh, as we've discussed quite a few times with the roofs, there's 12 of them now, thanks to this mod. There was 8 before. Now there's 12, and to be fair, they're all a little bit similar. I mean, this one is, I think, the second lowest power output of all the roofs. It's between this, the BTR Type 1 uh, was low power, but the BTR Type 1 was also quite quick. Eh, 29.462, there you go. Maybe this one was uh, a stolen Japanese treasure. Maybe we should uh, get these back. Um... Yeah, I mean, to be fair, the roofs are a bit hard to tell because, I mean, they all go up in power, but weight-wise, they're all pretty much the same. Uh, and these rear-wheel drive ones, I mean, realistically, how much does power really matter once you're over 500 horsepower, you know? The difference between a 650 horsepower roof and a 567 horsepower roof is uh, more death-dealing chances for oversteer, I guess. Uh, but the good thing with these cars is they offer really nice traction out the corners. That's sort of the uh, the one thing that's really shocked me in this series. Uh, how nice the roofs are to drive, to be fair. Because usually these cars are uh, regarded as pretty difficult to drive. But they've actually been alright. It's 29.138. It's good there. Eh, is there a little bit more time in this? I'm not sure. The problem is with the rear engine ones is you get a little bit of understeer, but then again you get that in the four wheel drive ones as well, so... It's a bit of a swings and roundabouts issue, but no, that's uh, deeply impressive. That makes this significantly quicker than uh, a lot of the BTRs, to be honest. Uh, again, remember BTR2s, not the BTR4. BTR4s are different kettle of fish. Um, I mean that last lap was very scruffy, and even that wasn't that far off. Yeah, this one's uh, this one's quick. I I don't know what it is about this specific one, because um, I mean, so roofs. What we got? RCT twenty nine point eight, BTR Type One twenty nine point eight, uh, BTR Two twenty nine point six. That's the mustache one. Um, I don't know why this one's quicker than that one. I, I literally can't answer that, to be perfectly honest. Uh, 
I think it was just that solid of a lap by the looks of it. I don't think there's anything more to come out of that, to be perfectly honest. Um, you know, I don't usually like to say that because I often think there's at least a little bit to come out because I don't think I'm the best driver in the world. But uh, yeah, that's not bad. In case you're wondering, by the way, two more rear-engined rear drive roofs and then there's four four-wheel drive ones I'm counting there. So that's the uh, current roof split. Anyways, uh, 29.138 places this into 55th place. Goes in between the R33 Skyline and the ST205 Solica GT4. I don't think a roof's ever gone there, but that's where this one's gone. Uh, it's quicker than the Silhouette Formula R30, quicker than the LM GT2 NSX, uh, quicker than TVR Tuscan, which is quite apt, I guess. Um... Yeah, as I mentioned, I mean, it's 0.5 upon the BTR2. I don't know. I, I can't give you an answer as to specifically why that is. Uh, in case you are curious, it is no way near. The, the next quickest roof is four-wheel drive, and that's at like a 28.3. So don't go thinking this is like some sort of big like gap bridge between the four-wheel drive and the two-wheel drives, because it isn't. But... Um, yeah, all right. Wildly impressive. Good job to the uh, the roof BR2. Anyways, that is it for this episode. Thank you all very much for watching. Join me next time when I'll be driving something completely different in every way. Uh, until then, farewell.